the suzuki swift loads of character super utilitarian and stylish at the same time this is one of the iconic hatchbacks of india we sell them by the bucket loads and in other countries it's gained popularity to become a driver's car as well because of its agile handling so i've been thinking what if we take this iconic hatchback which is the Suzuki Swift and turn it up to 11? Well, you guessed it. Welcome back to the Drivers Hub. This is a stage 2 Swift 1.3 DDIS. Yes, it's a diesel pocket rocket. And I'm going to show you all of the cool things that this car has. If you remember back in February of 2021, we had taken a stage one Swift diesel to the Valley Run. And after that tune, it felt like the car was a completely different car and the engine had been given new life. And that was a stage one tune. This is a through and through stage two setup. It's running a stage two performance downpipe from code six, a code six full system exhaust, a BMC air filter and a tune from code six, which is a stage two tune. And after this tune, it feels like the car is literally shoving you into your seat because the torque is just excessively too much for a car this small. It makes 260 Nm of torque and it makes 105 bhp of power which is quite a lot for a Swift. And considering that this is a diesel, all of that torque is available to you down low in the rev range which makes this super fun because you don't always have to rev the car out all the way to its red line to have fun because all of the torque is down low. Stock this car used to make 75 bhp and around 190 newton meters of torque and this jump of power is quite significant and very noticeable but more importantly these power gains complement the driving dynamics of the car because as we all know the swift is an amazing handling car and it's very very good in the corners the chassis is very balanced and everything feels super tight and now since because of these power upgrades that this car has when you chuck it into a corner you can really really just thrash the car out of it and it responds because the engine is more responsive you have the power and it's a super fun driving experience now Now the owner has fitted some upgraded brakes to this car, you have some 30mm uh, upsized uh, rotors, you have Brembo brake calipers and Brembo brake pads, so the braking performance is also there. The next best thing I think that a person should do to a setup like this is obviously get some suspension work done, uh, maybe some coilovers probably so that the handling is up is even better than what it is stock because to be honest even stock it's super fun super chuckable and it's a very fun car to drive before we continue with the video i quickly want to talk about tdh classifieds tdh classifieds is a new service that we've started on our website which is the driversup.com and basically on tdh classifieds you can find tuned cars quirky cars sports cars whatever you like basically and the best part is you can buy them and sell them on our website so if you're interested in buying a quirky little car to spice up some things in your life head on down to tdh classifieds and the driversup.com and also we post regular news stories reviews articles whatever a car guy likes it's all on the driversup.com so head on down link in the bio in terms of looks this is a swift i mean it, we've seen it a million times and it looks really nice especially this third generation of swift uh, the owner has done some personal touches here and there for example all of the chrome bits have been blacked out which is a really nice touch i have to say it has this uh, body kit around it with some side skirts a spoiler a new bumper at the end with a diffuser kind of look and a new front splitter which also is kind of tasteful in my opinion uh, other than that well it's a swift i mean there's nothing really to talk about it uh, it's pretty much like a five-year-old car now and it's due for an update uh, the rims are 16 inches and are oem from maruti suzuki and they have the diamond cut treatment to them uh, behind them you have some upgraded brakes and at the back you can see the exhaust popping out of the rear diffuser which is a nice little touch of aggression to the look 
The owner has spruced up the interior quite a bit. He's added a new sound system, some LED light bars here and there, and overall, it looks really nice. I especially like these orangish kind of accents all around. Maybe not on the steering wheel; that's a little bit too much, but I like the accents for sure. Even on the dashboard trim, he's done like a cool little wrap to enhance the look a little more. And that's the thing about tuning; it's all about personalization, and he's taken it to the maximum. Even the seat belts have gotten the red treatment, and I really like. the sporty look of these red color seat belts well apart from that it's a swift again on the inside uh, the plastic quality is subpar because it's a suzuki but it's at least it's very cheap to maintain you have a five speed manual gearbox right over here the steering wheel is a nice flat bottom steering wheel perfect 9 and 3 position uh, you have two analog dials in front of you and a touch screen in the middle which supports android auto and apple carplay in my opinion you don't need anything more than this Unfortunately this popular Fiat sourced engine has now been discontinued which is the 1.3 DDIS or MJD In Maruti Suzuki's attempt to push towards a more eco-friendly and carbon neutral future diesel cars have been completely scrapped from the lineup So this 1.3 is now extinct and it is a legendary engine with it being used in 13 different cars over the years Good thing is since Swifts in India outnumber most European country populations supply and demand isn't a problem in the used market. First gen Swifts with the same engine which are in fact lighter and some would say more agile go for anywhere between 1.5 to 2.5 lakhs depending on the condition. The cool thing about tuning cars is that you don't have to have the best machinery in the world like an M5 or something like that. You can also do tuning on small little cars like this and make them fun. And that's exactly what the owner has done. And that's the cool thing. You can take a Swift 1.3 DDIS and punch it up to 100 horsepower very easily with some basic modifications for 50,000 rupees. And well, When it comes to buying a Swift 1.3 DDIS in the second hand market it used to come in the first generation second generation and third generation so you can literally buy a Swift 1.3 for as low as 1.5 lakhs all the way up to the latest generation and this is one of the best platforms to start your tuning journey on and if you're interested in doing something like that check this car out definitely because it's a whole lot of fun to drive thank you so much for watching subscribe to our channel follow me on instagram follow the drivers hub on instagram follow everyone on instagram we basically work with and i'll see you in the next one